Welcome everybody to the uh, Friday morning warm up and uh, we've got uh, lots of goodies today as usual and we're going to start off with, guess what, a bit of clapping, yay! So I'm just going to put the clapping rhythm onto the screen and it's a little variation on what we did last time which is a, a Brazilian pattern called the Teleco Teco and it's normally played on a little tambourine which is a, uh, like our tambourine but um, without the bells and originally it was square as well with a bit of goat skin over it so it's probably easier to make a square one than a round one um, now this one of the important things about this pattern it doesn't have a, a clap on the first beat but I will have the metronome ticking away and you'll hear a little bell go off on beat one of the um, metronome pattern so that will be a little clue as to if you want to reset yourself and uh, start the pattern over again. Anyway, here we go. Um, getting your feet going at the same time is an option, I think, when it's a, a rhythm like this, because they're not always that straightforward. So we'll get the, the... Yeah, there's the metronome going, a little ding on beat one of the first bar. Actually, and the second bar. And uh, after four... One, two, three, four... One more. Da, 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 da. Oh, right, good. Well, I enjoyed that in the sense that I think that went quite well. I hope it did for you as well. And, uh, okay, we're going to move on now with the instrument. So if you'd like to grab your uh, instrument, the um, scale today, as you know, is concert B-flat major. So I am going to pluck the note B-flat. And you can uh, warm up your instrument by playing something... Uh, compatible with that so it could be um, a harmony note or the concert B flat so after four just for a minute and uh, just gonna make some noise to warm our instruments up the noises in the background that's my phone going off just turn that off okay uh, okay that's just um, got the warm-up started and now we're going to move on to the uh, chromatic scale and today is just a straightforward um, straight up and down again uh, back to how we uh, did, used to do it originally and so I'm just going to set the metronome at a sedate pace to start with so we're looking at uh, B flat as a starting point, concert B flat. So C for the um, tenor saxes and so on, and trumpets, and um, 
G for the altos. And we're literally just going to go up the scale to the top. Nothing, we're going right back to the uh, first ever time we played this. So we're just going to start on concert B flat and go up an octave at this speed. In crotchets. One, two, three, four. And there we are. Let's do that again. One, two, three, four. tongue it or you can uh, slur it um, or you can pluck it depending on your instrument or press it. <laughs> Here we go. One more time. One, two, three, four. Okay, let's de descend. Let's go from the high B flat down to the low B flat after four. One, two, three, four. the top note so up to the top and straight down again one two three four yourself at it. One, two, one, two, three, four. And just one more. Let's go up to uh, 180 beats a minute. One, two, one, two, three, four. Okay, good. That's a uh, chromatic scale there. Good. Let's move on to the uh, exercise sheets now. So if you'd like to get that ready in front of you, and I'll put on the screen the uh, chromatics. Um, sorry, not the chromatic. The concert pitch. So I've got B flat major today, and um, a common tune. A common tune. A common key in uh, jazz standards, particularly um, partly because the tenors are allowed to then play in C major. <laughs> and the, it's the guitarists who have to learn how to play in B flat. But nevertheless, it's still a common key uh, for songs. And um, we're going to start off with the uh, just the first bar, um, which is the major scale ascending, and a little triplet in the middle there. Not for any particular reason, just to give it a bit more of an interesting uh, rhythm to um, practice it to. So I'm just going to play that first bar just once. After four, one, two, one, two, three, four. Two, 
one more time. Two, three, four. Okay, let's do the major scale descending. So bar two, just once. One, two, three, four. play both those bars just one and two together one after the other not at the same time unless you're a piano player after four one two three four yeah hope that was good and again one two three four one more time one two three four okay uh, the B flat major scale concert B flat and it's um, the chord which if you took the first third fifth and seventh of that scale um, would be B flat major seven and so we've got that arpeggio next so bars three and four uh, is the arpeggio for the major seventh chord and reading across from left to right the eight notes you can see in front of you are the root the third the fifth the seventh the root again the octave then coming down the seventh the fifth and the third so the last note shown on there is the third so you just need to put a root on the end a B flat concert B flat at the end of that arpeggio once you've played it so we're just going to do the bars three and four then um, as written only crotchets so don't go too fast um, here we go one two three four <laughs> Again, one, two, three, four. You can sing the intervals as well if you like. After four, one, two, three, four. Root, third, fifth, seventh, root, seventh, fifth, third, root. One more time. One, two, three, four. Do, da, do. who said it but somebody said that arpeggios are melted chords and chords are frozen arpeggios there's your thought for the day let's move on to the uh, second line and we've got our peddling um, scale uh, exercise here where the root note is held and you go up in interval up in ever increasing intervals as you're going across until the whole scale has been played. So uh, starting on the root note, just play as written all four bars after four. All four bars left to right. One, two, one, two, three, four. <laughs> Okay, there we have the major scale. Uh, we're just going to 
continue warming up on the major scale, this time ascending in thirds, so going up the scale, but um, going up a third each time, coming back to the next note as we gradually ascend the scale. Um, so just the first two bars, uh, we're going to do first of all, first two bars, B flat major, ascending in thirds. When you just play a scale straight up, you are actually going up in seconds. So although it seems you like you're just playing the scale, you're actually going up in seconds. So the next stage after that is to go up in thirds, which is what we're doing now. And um, I don't know if we've done it before, but the next thing to practice after that would be going up in fourths, and then up in fifths, and then up in sixths, and up in sevenths. And then uh, you could go up in octaves. There's nothing, nothing that stops you going up in ninths, I'm sure some do. So we're going to go up in thirds, though, <laughs> less ambitious. And uh, as written, first two bars, just once, after four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, a little bit more going on there. Should I just slow that down slightly? After four, two, three, four. similar thing but descending so coming down in uh, third jumps so we're going to do the bars three and four of this line so we're going to start oops, on the um, octave the high note high B flat and come down as written bars three and four of that line after four one two and three and four <laughs> Let's move on to the um, rhythmic uh, phrases now based on um, our current triad we're focusing on, which is the descending. Well, first of all, it's a major triad. I haven't written on that one there, but it's a major triad. It's the second inversion. So that means the fifth has been moved. Uh, sorry, the third's been moved. Sorry, the root's been moved to the top and then the third's been moved to the top. So the fifth is on the bottom. Um, so it's second inversion, but we're doing it descending. So it, for a B flat chord, that would be D, then down to B flat, then down to F. Um, uh, that sound. Now, uh, as always, I ask for suggestions of songs which start like that and um, to help us recognise them when we see hear them. Um, Chris suggested uh, the Summer of 69. It, it does appear in the guitar intro in that. Um, very quickly, I must say, but uh, it's in there. Um, probably the most recognised tune in terms of a, a good old folk standard is um, Kay suggested Good Night Ladies. Good Night Ladies, uh, or sometimes called Farewell Ladies. And um, that's the one I'd thought of as well, but I didn't, didn't realise it's called that. I know it is Nice One Cyril. <laughs> nice One Cyril, the old football song. And uh, I think originally that was sung for um, Cyril Knowles when he played in, for Tottenham in the early 70s. And uh, it actually got in the charts. Um, 
nice one, Cyril, nice one, son, nice one, Cyril, let's have another one. He wasn't a goal scorer, he was a left back, but uh, nevertheless. So uh, in my head, nice one, Cyril is uh, the song of choice for, <laughs> but good night, ladies might be yours. Or farewell, ladies, which I think is the same song. So, nice one, Cyril. Uh, <clears throat> let's do um, the first bar of the rhythmic phrases. I think we can afford to have the tempo up a little bit. So just doing uh, this major inversion, uh, second inversion of the major triad uh, descending. After four, just bar one. We're going to loop it straight away. After four. One, two, three, four. nice one Cyril at all but still same notes <laughs> uh, on to the second uh, bar and um, I think we've done this pattern a few times so let's confidently go ahead and loop it straight away second bar so after four one two one two three four out for that rest at the beginning there I'm kind of telling myself that when I say these things <laughs> Dave watch out for that rest at the beginning uh, so bar three let's just do it once and uh, after four one two one two three four where there's normally normally we have a note um, uh, uh, one way of looking at triplets like this is that um, you think where the beats where the notes appear in relation to the um, metronome beats and the um, the second and fourth notes are both going to appear just after the the click of the second and third beats a uh, second and fourth beats so you've got four notes there and there are four clicks on the metronome Beat one will be on the beat, beat two will be just after the beat, beat three will be on the beat, and beat four, or note four rather, will be just after the fourth click. So they're kind of pushed along a little bit. Um, just one another way of looking at it. There are lots of different ways of looking at triplets, and they are things which uh, take a bit, of, uh, uh, a bit of study before they become absolutely natural. But um, anyway, let's have a go at doing that bar one, uh, four once. After four. One, two, three, four. See, I didn't even do that. Tell you what, I'm going to clap it first. That might be better. So if you want to do this as well, always a good idea to clap a rhythm first if it's going to be a little bit tricky. So one, so again, and one, two, three, four. One, two, 
One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Now loop it, clapping. One, two, three, four. Last time. Okay, that should help internalize the rhythm before we actually play it. So let's do that. One, two, one, two, three. Loop it. Okay, uh, moving on to the next line, and we've got, there's a two bar pattern here, so uh, we've got two bars to play. Let's have a go at that. If it doesn't work, we'll clap it first. <laughs> here we go. So, um, both those two bars on the bottom line just played once. Two, one, two, three, four. Third bar, introducing some uh, semi quavers. Note the first two notes are repeated. So, uh, da, 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 da. okay, so just the third bar once, off to four. One, two, three, four. And again, one, two, three, four. It. One, two, three, four. one for the tuba players here um, some fast uh, it might not be actually if your harmonics are all on one fingering you might find you just fly through this with a load of load of uh, lip flexibilities see I know these phrases now okay um, right da 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 one e and a two e and a is the speed of your semi quaver so we'll do that pattern once we're on bar four so after four one two one, two, three, four. Uh, just about. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Tricky on a guitar as well. One, two, three, four. Now we loop it. One, two, three, four. 
Probably even harder on a double bass or a bass guitar. So uh, good. Anyway, that's um, there our um, little warm-up exercises, and uh, time is moving on. So we better just move on to the chord sequence now, because now you're dying to get out there in the sunshine and enjoy your daily exercise. So we're just going to strum those chords. Uh, we're in the key of B flat major, so you can use that scale to uh, improvise over it, or just use your play the chord tones or melody. Um, root notes. Here we go. One, two, one, two, three, four. Good. Okay, we'll call it a day there, and um, I hope we've had a, a good warm-up session. And uh, as always, I like to nice to see so many of you off the screen. And all I can say is now, have a nice weekend. Have a nice Thank week. You, have a nice day. Thank you, David. Yeah, see you in a week's time. Monday. <laughs>